Happy Monday, my beautiful people. You know, you would think I would stop getting on the internet looking a fool, but I won't. This is me. This is, this is who I am. Cue that, what is that, like, high school musical song? This is me. Oh, I don't know. Um, but we're doing what I eat today. Welcome. Welcome to my video. <laughs> so, um, my name's Kelsey. Welcome. I'm trying to lose 100 pounds, and it's not working. But this is what I eat today. Um, it's going to be a little bit weird because I am not at my house. I'm dog sitting. So I don't have access to like, well, I mean, I guess I could have access to it, but I'm not trying to pack a whole kitchen. You know what I mean? So I, I got a few like random things at the store. That's what I'm eating this week. But for starters, um, I need to like put this down because I don't want to hold this up the whole time. I don't want to hold it up. Does it fit right here? Can it fit right here? Perfect. I'm starting my day off with, with a little cough from Starbucks because I had to pick up my boyfriend from, or my fiance, whatever. Um, I had to pick up my boyfriend from Firestone at the crack of dawn. And he said that he would buy me a coffee in return. So that's what we did. Um, I also am a loyal Nespresso user. And um, I obviously don't have my Nespresso with me. It's not a traveling appliance. So, enter the coffee. <laughs> I get a Venti Vanilla Sweet Cream Cold Brew. It's strong, it's sweet, it's beautiful, it's caffeinated. It's 200 calories, I believe. 200 or 210, I think it's 200 though, for a Venti. It's all I've ever wanted and more. It's my favorite order. It's not paleo-ish. If you're caught up in my videos, we're trying to do paleo. We're trying to do little ingredients. We're gonna forget about that today because none of the things I'm eating are going to be uh, paleo-ish, I don't think. But I, maybe, I'm still gonna try to be healthy. I'm still gonna try to stay in my calorie range, which is 1,500 to 1,700 if you're curious. Um, but, this is what I'm starting out with, and I'm not hungry because I ate like a madman yesterday. So I'm still kind of riding the high from that. But um, yeah, I work from home on Mondays, so that's really all that I have to update you on. I'm not gonna sit here and bore you. I'm just working. It's like, it's 9.02 now. Um, drinking this coffee. I'll probably have breakfast around 11. That's usually my sweet spot for breakfast. I went on like a, the tiniest little walk with the dog I'm dog sitting. She's like a teeny tiny, she's a puppy too. Um, and I got my boyfriend from Firestone. That's all I've done today. And I'm just gonna sit on my computer at work. I'm gonna watch Summer House. It's like a reality show if you don't know. It's so good, it's my current obsession. Yeah, so I will update you when I eat something again. Bye. I'm back. It's lunchtime. The day is really getting away from me today, um, but that's okay. I'm having a sandwich. My coffee is still literally not even done. Today is just crazy. I'm having a sandwich. Dave's Killer Bread, 21 whole grain, something, seeds and something. Um, favorite bread. Love that for me. That's like 110 calories a slice, so 220 for the bread. And then I'm going to have some Boar's Head Maple Honey Turkey, which is, I think it says on here. Maybe it doesn't. I'll have to look that up on my calorie app, but I also have no way to measure this because I forgot my scale. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and do like three-ish pieces. That seems, I like a, a fat sandwich, sue me. It's supposed to be a meal, not a snack, okay? Uh, and then I have literally nothing else to go on it. So I'm gonna use some Hellman's Light Mayo. Squirt that right on there. Just like a little, maybe like a 
tablespoon, if I had to guess. And then this Publix honey mustard. You know, shake all the weird juice. It's not really shaking. You're literally in a cabinet right now. Don't screenshot what I was just doing just then. Maybe also a tablespoon of that. And then some shrubs. I have some fruit from last week that I need to eat because it's gonna go bad. So, we're having some strawberries. Oh no, one of my strawberries touched the honey mustard. I don't love that. I don't love that. Okay. Lunch. Say hi. I'm going to eat this and finish my coffee that's over there on the table somewhere. Okay, adios. It's me, back in my apartment, and we are having HelloFresh for dinner. Not gonna lie, so much time has passed. I had another sandwich that I was gonna secretly not show you, and then I also had chips, and we tried, um, sa what, Sour Patch? Sour Patch Old Vanilla Oreos. Sour Patch Oreos, I had approximately this much of them. Disgusting, hated it, horrible. Worst Oreo I've ever had in my life. Um, anyway. But on a better note, on a healthier note, we're having HelloFresh because they were running a sale and I got five meals for $46, I think, which is way cheaper than we could have made five meals. So this is the one we're eating tonight. Honey sriracha pork filet, but I sub chicken because I don't like pork like this. So I'll show you when it's done, but um, obviously not <laughs> sponsored by any means whatsoever, if you couldn't tell by my 400 subscribers, but um, this is this is what it looks like. They come with directions and all of your stuff is pre-packaged and pre-portioned for you. So you literally just follow the directions and that's it. And you get to like pick your meals every week and they have like a rotating list. Um, but we, we got one for every day this week. We have five meals, so yeah, we have chicken sausage, spaghetti bolognese, Tex-Mex pork enchilada bowls, spiced chicken and crispy potatoes, and beef stir-fried tacos. Um, also, if you're like somebody who doesn't know how to cook, these are perfect because it tells you step-by-step, step, so it's a good, a good first step. I'm gonna get to cooking, it's almost eight o'clock, and I'll show you when it's done. One thing about HelloFresh meals is that they're gonna be pretty. So you have roasted carrots, cilantro, lime, rice, and then sriracha honey chicken. That's what mine looks like. That's what anti-vegetables looks like. And then we have a little extra sriracha, probably for me, <laughs> to make it hotter. But I'm so excited, this looks so good. This was a really good way to get back into like really cooking because there's a lot of steps usually this is what the instructions look like for this one um there's a lot of steps here but they always turn out really good so it's a good way to learn how to cook a labor intensive meal so we're gonna eat this chef had a little wine and um yeah that's what we're having for dinner